The men over here have something we call the African spirituality. And I like to dwell on that because when you come to Ghana, 25 million to 27 million people, most people are Christianized today. People have been allowed themselves to be brainwashed, believing that everything black, everything Africa is evil. No, I don't want to be a Christian, and I know why I am not a Christian. I see Christianity as a kind of spiritual enslavement. That Jesus Christ was born through spirit. How can there is no spirituality but rather exploitation? People have become lazy and spend all the time in church, and their life does not improve a bit. Defining the African faith. I have been driving around Ghana, talking to different people, talking to different religious leaders on the African faith. Who are we as black people? Black Empire News coming out of Ghana, out of Africa, international. Zo TV. <music> We're trying to define the fate of black people around the world. So this is Black Empire News. You comment, you subscribe, and you tell us what you think. Who are we and what is our identity? I am reporting live from Ghana in a small little town in the middle of Eastern region called Wenchi, defining the African fate. Defining the African faith. I am still on my episode and I'm heading to the University of Ghana now. I'm going to go interview, you know, a diaspora. And if you've been watching my show before, I did an episode on a man called Obadale Kambo. This man is also believed to be somebody quite powerful in understanding the origin of the black man, the spiritual systems of the black man. So, uh, if we want to look at yes. Ra, yeah. if you look at some of the creation stories from ancient Kemet, yeah. right, they talk about how uh, Atum, which is the form of the sun where it gets down to here, mm -hmm. um, as a creator deity, mm -hmm. and how it spat out Shu and Tefnut, so Shu being air, Tefnut being moisture, mm -hmm. and then how those gave birth to Nut, which is the sky, yeah. and then Geb, which is the earth, yeah. right? And then from there you have the other deities, Asar, Aset, mm -hmm. uh, Nebet Hur, mm -hmm. which is, they call it Nephthys, and yeah. then Set, okay. right? So all of that comes to this idea that all of them came from the body of the sun. Now what science tells the us... The body of the sun. The sun. Yes. Right? All right. So what science also tells us is that, you know, at the solar system, yeah. as it was just being formed, yeah. you have all these gases condensing, you know, gravity pulling them together. And then what's not going to become part of the body of the sun is eventually going to congeal and become the planets around it. Yeah. So essentially all of these different things are made out of the same materials. Yeah. So at the most basic you have the element uh, hydrogen, you have helium, yeah. you have all of these elements. Yeah. And then you know, as they are cooling, you know, those that are far away are going to form into different planets, mm -hmm. form into moons and all these things. Yeah. So essentially saying that it came, all of these things came from the sun is not wrong. You're yeah. saying that these are all coming from the same type of molecules, yeah. same types of things. Mm. Now, to say that Ra equals God, this is uh, a thing that I often say, the equal sign will kill our people, yeah. right? Because you've taken a very small Eurasian concept mm -hmm. and then put this African worldview in, you into, know, one, into yeah. this teeny oh. tiny concept. Yeah. So it's sort of like, you know, if, let's say, for example, I'm from somewhere else, there's a word dog, mm -hmm. right? It's just... Har, har. 
and you have a word uh, mo, mm -hmm. and then I just tell you, all right, this mo you're talking about is the same as the word dog. Mm, no. Right. Yeah. So now you're you're trying to prove that mo equals mm. dog. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is essentially what we're working with here. You can tell that they're coming from a Christian background because mm. they're working on these equivalences. Yeah. Right. Okay. But the word ra literally yeah. translates to the sun. Okay. But it's a similar concept of yeah. a creator. Okay. You know, deity. Yeah. But it's much more. Mm. Uh, encompassing yeah. then uh, equating it to what it meant yeah. in the Eurasian. Where, where, where did you learn this thing from? Because if I walk to the shrine now, yeah. coming back to the voodoo world and the shrine world, the, uh, the African indigenous belief system now, mm -hmm. if I walk into that place now, the, what are you talking about, which mm -hmm. I'll call maybe the, the, you know, the metaphysics, mm -hmm. will I get the same concept or mm -hmm. will they tell me how all this thing works? Because mm -hmm. where, where did you get it from? All right, very good. So this is an excellent uh, question. Now, if you go to a shrine, and actually I was teaching a class last semester at University of Ghana, yeah. and I took my students to a shrine, and for some of them it was their first time ever being to any shrine, yeah. that they'll see similar things, right? So here, this is what we've been talking about, this Dikenga, right? And you'll note that it goes in what you would call an anti-clockwise fashion, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when you go to the Akom and you see the Akom 4, you'll see that they're dancing in the same okay. fashion, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. They're never going this way, they're always going, going this, this way, way. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. If you see when people greet, they're always greeting well, yeah. in this way, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. Now, if you uh, look this up, the Temple of Dendara, this is an ancient Kemet, mm -hmm. the Temple of Dendara, mm -hmm. it shows all of these constellations, yeah. and from the perspective of the human who's here on mm -hmm. the planet, they will see the constellations moving, moving. in this exact same trajectory. Yeah. So this is some of the understanding that African people had. Mm -hmm. And it even goes, if you go to the diaspora and people are doing capoeira, yeah. they have what they call Volta al Mundo. Okay. And when they're doing it, they're doing it in yeah. this exact yeah. same way. Yeah. So all throughout the continent. Mm -hmm. So basically there's this understanding that as above, so below. Mm -hmm. So that is Mahat. This is order. Yeah. This is things in order. Yeah. So if you also want things to be in order here, yeah. then you need to basically be a mirror to the order that you find on the yeah. celestial level. So did, did, did you did you train in the shrine? Did you ever train? Did yeah. you train in the shrine? Yeah. yeah. Actually, so, uh, Nana B was the one who taught me different herbs. You can see some videos yeah. we were going through. Nana, like, Nana B. Nana, 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 Nana Sufi. Who you call Nana Sufi. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, and then, you know, initiated uh, Acropon. But I grew up in the shrine of my mother. Okay. Right? Yeah. So... You know, this is where you will actually see it in action. Okay. Right? Some of these concepts yes. and things like this. Okay. And my students were shocked that some of the things that we had talked about in class, yeah. the Okomfo, this is Obotebri Shrine in yes. Kogridia. Yeah. She was saying some of the same things, some of the proverbs that she was bringing up were talking about similar things. Okay. As the libations were coming up, they were talking about similar things. All right. So, again, you can find, yeah. th this is what I was actually telling them, that if you go throughout the continent now, mm -hmm. Different places you go to will present a piece of the puzzle. Yeah. Right? Mm. So you will find that the Akans do things in a very specific way. Ways, yeah. And it's a manifestation. Yeah. Let, let me actually highlight this. If you look at the Book of Coming Forth by Day, what the Eurasians call the Book of the Dead, mm -hmm. there's a, a line where it says, it's talking about the Creator, mm -hmm. and it says, You are one mm -hmm. whose arms are many. Yeah. Right? This mm. is. You know, we talk about Akhenaten, but this is the oldest concept of monotheism anywhere. Okay. Okay. The, idea of the, the old concept being, of monotheism. Right. right. The concept of the supreme being being Be, one, be one. Has yes. arms that are many. Yes. It's basically seeing the various manifestations, whether it's Abosum, whether it's Motia, yeah. as just being manifested, whether it's you, whether it's me. Yeah, yeah. That everything is one thing. Okay. But you have different ways that it manifests, yeah. you know, to us. Mm -hmm. That when we look at Akhan, Mm -hmm. We look at Ewe, yeah. we look at, you know, uh, Dabangba, yeah. we look at Mosi, whoever yeah. we look at, yeah, yeah. you'll find that all of these are like the various arms, the various manifestations. Okay. And amongst African people, they're seen as like uh, Achiame. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's also interesting if you look at things like the story of Abrewa Nenema. Yeah. So the pounding fufu and yeah. eventually the supreme being goes off. Yeah. You'll find that same story yeah. in ancient Kemet yeah. where, you know, Ra, mm -hmm. you know, goes through and decides that yeah. 
um, all of these powers will be alloc allocated to other yeah. nature yeah. deities, yeah. divinities. Okay. So, all right, uh, Jehuti, yeah. they're called Thoth. Yeah. You're responsible for these things. Yeah. All right. I saw you're responsible for these things. Okay. You know, I'm going to go off. So it's basically yeah. the same type okay. of concept. Okay. Is there is there any any place in Africa here now? You know, like say West Africa subregion where, mm -hmm. you know, this ancient system is still being practiced, mm -hmm. where, um, you know, it still takes you to the the you know Kemet where you see a real similarity. Is there yeah. any place, any village, any place that is being practiced? Everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere where okay. we're not into Christianity and Islam, okay. you'll still find it. Okay. So as I was saying at the shrine, yeah. you see them moving in this way. Yeah. What they're doing is a manifestation yeah. of something much older. Yeah. Now they at that shrine may have never been to the Temple of Dendera. Okay. But what they're doing yes. is just yet another manifestation of this worldview, which is one. Okay. When you see them pouring libation in ancient Kemet, they were pouring libation. Bishop, yeah. If you go to Bono and you see them putting this uh, are you at this yeah. uh, brass pan on yeah. their head yeah, yeah. and making a procession through the streets? If you yeah. go through Ojura and you see them making this procession, yeah. this is the exact same as in ancient Kemet. Okay. They would take Amu, okay. which was a deity, right. and make the same procession yeah. going from uh, yeah. Ipet Sut, okay. which was the select of select places, one temple, yeah. to uh, Ipet Resut, yeah. which is the southern temple. So they're going all the yeah. way here in a procession, mm -hmm. procession, procession. Yeah. So you'll find all of these different things. Yeah. So again, whether the people here yeah. are cognizant of, oh, in ancient Kemet they were doing this procession, yeah. they may not be able what? to articulate yeah, why, why, doing the same thing. Thank you very much. Why is this, why, why is this that, you know, even though these structures look to be so strong, and mm -hmm. it is you know, um, how do you call it, um, you can still see it as an evidence being in Kemet and to show that, you know, black people have been in this world for a long time with their belief system. Why, why is it that even though this thing still exists, we've not been able to get out to the world, to let the world know that, you know what, be confident in what you have, be part of it, and not to mess up yourself with whatever we've been taught that is the new thing, is the good thing for us to follow. Why, why is it that we have not been able to take it to the next level? Right. Yeah. So this is a good question. We actually did take it to the next level in okay. terms of bringing it out to the world. Yeah. This is when we were teaching the Greeks. Now you can read the works of Plato, like the laws. All right. This is something that Theophilo Benga talks about, yeah. where he's actually quoting all these ancient Greek scholars who were told, oh, mm -hmm. they're supposed to be something. All right. But they're saying that our education is education for pigs, talking yeah. about the Greeks, mm -hmm. saying we don't do anything. If you want real education to become a real human being, yeah. you have to go to Kemet. Yeah. So this do is... Do you reckon that for we, even black people, Africa, Africans now, we, we need to actually go back to Kemet a little bit, just to get some historical evidence to understand what is going on or do we need somebody like yourself to get into shrines and you know because if somebody walks into the shrine now and without not understanding how all this movement is are there priestesses and priests who can actually get into this level to tell you the story of how this world has been and how our ancestors have believed in is there is there is there any way I would say that there are multiple paths yeah. to approach this, okay. right? Okay. There's a story about Eshu, which mm -hmm. is uh, one of the deities amongst the Yoruba okay. tradition. Yeah. And in the story, you have two friends. They were very close. Mm -hmm. One had a farm on this side of the road. The other had a farm on this side of the road. Mm -hmm. So Eshu decided to test their friendship to see, you know, mm -hmm. how strong it was. So Eshu walked in between the farms on the path and had a hat on. Mm -hmm. Now on this side of the hat, it was red. Mm -hmm. On this side of the hat, it was black. Yeah. You know, dressed very elegantly, they had to notice him. He mm. walked by, and the friend said, "Hey, did you see that guy walk by with the red hat on?" Mm -hmm. He said, "Ah, red hat. What do you mean, red hat? Mm. The hat was black." Mm. Ah, what do you mean the hat was black? It was red. So they end up almost coming to blows over whether the hat was red or black, yeah. not realizing that they were just seeing it from different perspectives. Yeah. Issue decided to come through again. Now, still has the hat on, oh, yeah. and walks through. He said, "Oh, sorry, my friend, you were right." The hat was black. No, 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 you were right. It was red. And they're about come to blows again. <laughs> the, the whole point is that you have various perspectives. Perspective, yes. So depending on where I'm standing, standing. Will, de will determine how I see this thing. Yes. So if I'm in a place that has a lot of rivers, yes. then I'll connect with the spirituality Spirit of, yes. of these rivers. Okay. If I'm in a place that has a lot of mountains, yes. 
then you'll have things like Ubuntu Bri Shrine where you know you connect with All right. religion is a deification of a culture so where you are All right. the problem comes when you're deifying the cultures of other people yes. to the detriment of your own oh. so you know again it's yeah. about where you're standing and how you see it so if you go to a shrine yeah. you may not get this full yeah. understanding but you'll get yeah. From where I'm standing, from my perspective, this is how I understand the whole. Again, yeah. all of it is one. The African worldview is one. Yeah. But the arms are many. Many. What is Abu Sum Sum? Right. What is Abu Sum Sum? Very good. So when you see Abu Sum Sum, basically it's trying to make a correlation between what religion, your Eurasian religions are, and what ancestral religions are. Yeah. If, again, let's look, um, you have different ways. When you see the Creator as having step back and put others in charge sort mm. of like yep. emissaries or achiyama or whatever mm. that these are the ways by which you approach the creator yeah. right yeah. so when you say obosum some you're looking at this word or mm-hmm. which is trying to make an equivalence to religion yeah and saying all right well we're just yeah. summing this yeah. obosum okay when in actuality we're looking at these as various paths that you can use in order to approach yeah. the supreme being, all which right. is the all. Okay. So, again, if you're looking at it from this perspective, mm. then it's like, okay, you don't, in a traditional society throughout the continent, you yeah. won't find a case where you just walk up to the uh, ruler mm. of the people and just say, hey, okay. hey, he's like, hey, yeah, what up, hey, yeah, what? Yeah. It's, it's not like that. Yeah. That in order to approach the ruler, mm-hmm. there are certain protocols. Because you have to and follow. Exactly. Yes. And this is, again, seen yeah. as the same thing. Yeah. But you know that in Ghana, when somebody say that Usum Bosom, yeah. there is a negative connotation to it. Yeah. That's so when I say mm-hmm. Usum Bosom, mm-hmm. people, or yeah. when somebody asks you, Asore Ben Ako, what church do you go? Mm-hmm. And if you tell them that Misum Bosom, mm-hmm. automatically they withdraw. Yeah. They don't, want, they don't really yeah. want to yeah. have a chat with you. Yeah, so this is uh, evidence of the extreme brainwashing that we've gone through, or we could call it brain dirtying that we've gone through. Yeah. So, you know, when you allow your enemies to give you your history, when you allow your enemies to explain things to you, there's a, a poem that I actually wrote, mm-hmm. Right? If yes. your enemy, that if it's your enemy who's showing you the road, yeah. your enemy knows yes. w- where you're going to end up, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is the whole thing. So mm. what you have are people with, who have black skins but are very white inside. Yeah. And one of the main ways to do that is mm. in the African concept, we had this understanding of ma'at, mm-hmm. oftentimes represented in the most simplest form like this. So you have an ostrich fellow like this. Mm-hmm. And you can give a stroke determinative. And okay. This is the... And this writing system over here, what sort of writing system is it's this? It's called Medun Letter. Yeah. And the name of the writing system is written like this. Right? Medun Nature. Right. And this and writing system is from where? It comes from Kemet. It comes from Kemet. And the actual meaning of this writing system, when you yeah. say Medun Nature, you're saying yeah. Trokron Kron. Trokron Kron. So this is yeah. the words, this yeah. is the divine or sacred. Yeah. So basically the name of the writing system Still, itself yeah. is sacred words. Yeah. Now the Greeks they call it hieroglyphics, okay. which is basically a calc taking yeah. this exact same word and saying hiero yeah. to be the sun, something holy, okay. sacred. And then glyphics, glufos is yeah. talking about things that are yeah. inscribed or carved yeah. and formed in that way. All right. So when we're talking about Ma'at, this is the world's oldest system of okay. law and things of that nature. Yeah. And there are certain core principles that are attached to it, mm. including truth, mm-hmm. justice, balance, yeah. righteousness, yeah. harmony, yeah. order, reciprocity. Yeah. Right? So when we are looking at these things, you will find that there's an understanding of how things work, how things operate. Mm-hmm. And when you're saying that things are in order, when you're saying things are balanced, mm-hmm. when you're saying that things are reciprocal, yeah. this is coming back to the understanding of what's the role of the obosum, what's the role of okay. you know doing any of these things. Yes. Part of it is reciprocity. Yeah. So there's a story about Eshu, yeah. again, the Urisha, mm-hmm. where the people you know, were starting to get flood. So mm-hmm. they have a creation story. Yeah. So in the creation story, there was this watery mass. Yeah. And... Uh, Obatala descended on a chain, and some versions they say Ududua mm-hmm. on a chain, and then put down the soil, put down a cock, and the cock spread the soil around. Yeah, you know, came down on the yeah. chain, yeah. and 
basically the idea is that from this watery mass yeah. here the earth yeah. is you know coming place where a person can stand okay so from here uh, Olokun, which was the owner of this ocean, yeah. decided, you know, I don't like that I've lost ground <laughs> yeah, okay. to this earth. So it starts to flood. So the people are, you know, now calling Obatala saying, oh, we need your help. We, we need your help, help. We need your because help. we're being flooded. Yeah. So they yeah. they need to send a message. They decide to call on Ishu, who's yeah. a messenger deity, in yeah. order to send this message. Mm -hmm. Well, Ishu is like, well, even the most lowly messenger mm -hmm. will take something for the services. Yeah. So it's coming to this idea of reciprocity mm -hmm. that in order to get the message to yeah. the supreme being, yeah. that you know this yeah. is like. Can, can we say? Can we say that? Can we say that? So Abusum, yeah, Abusum is a supreme being, no. or can we say that Abusum is a deity? Where do you place the word Abusum in relation to understanding of a Ghanaian? When you say think about like Ochiame, Ochiame. Think about like an Ochiame. I would so like to get that. Here you have the ruler. Yes. You can say that's Onyame. Yes. So now how do you approach the ruler? You okay. approach the ruler through the Ochiame. Ochiame, okay. So this is the one who's going to... Yeah. So whether you need to do a sacrifice, whether you need to pour libation, yeah. whether you need to do yeah. Nyankumai. So, so the Obusum is, is another deity. Mm -hmm. On its you, own. It's, 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 a, it's a less... Uh, how do you call it? They would say it's, it's a deity. So it depends on how you want to translate it. Like okay. Usually I would prefer something like a divinity. A divinity. Right. Thank you. But any of these terms, yes. you have to understand that when you are trying to put an equal sign between mm. an infantile language like English, English and yeah. an it's, African it's language, yes. it's going to be difficult because yes. what you're going to do is you're going to reduce the African concept, concept to this small, too small box, box that the English thing is. Yeah. Now the English is going to have all types of connotations, yeah, yeah. negative connotations, yes. infantile connotations. Yeah. So if you yeah. say this now equals yeah. that, yeah. well, you're taking a lot of baggage yeah. along with that. So if you're saying that Ra equals God, God. all right, first, God is male, yeah. whereas for Ra, you have Ra, you have Riot. Mm -hmm. So there's a masculine aspect, there's a feminine aspect. aspect yeah. You find this for all of the ancient deities. Anytime, yeah. so the primordial waters that I was speaking of, this original water that was there yeah. at the very beginning. Yeah. You have noon. You so, have so, so, so to take it back again, God is a male. But when you come to Ra, it got the feminine and, 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 the, masculine, and the masculine. Exactly. Which comes back down to the Mao Soboli sign. You exactly. Know. Oh, okay. Exactly. So, so coming back to that, when somebody asks, what is voodoo? Right. In the modern world, as we were talking before, you use Haiti, you know, as a, as a, as an as an evidence, as one of the spiritual system that we're able to use to, you know, fight, mm -hmm. you know. But what is voodoo? Mm -hmm. Because Hollywood will show voodoo on a different level. Mm -hmm. Africans watch TV every day; mm -hmm. they see voodoo to be a different thing. What yeah. is voodoo? Very good. Um, let's. I want to finish okay. up on this yes. last right. thing, and then yeah. we'll take up the voodoo. Yeah. That this is one of the core things throughout the continent. This idea of the supreme being, both masculine and feminine. Okay. Now, if I show this to mm -hmm. most of the viewers, this is the gold weight. One of the gold weights. So back before we were using Ghana CDs, mm -hmm. we would weigh gold dust okay. against a weight. Yeah, yeah. Right. So this is one, and this is called Auradin Yankopong. Auradin Yankopong. 